कैश बुक एंड बैंक बुक डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे लेट एस लर्न अबाउट कैश बुक बैंक बुक एंड वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ कैश बुक यूज इन द बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट एंड ऑल्सो हाउ टू रिकॉर्ड कैश एंड बैंक ट्रांजेक्शन विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन इलेस्ट्रेशन कैश बुक एंड बैंक बुक द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ कैश बुक इज टू कीप रिकॉर्ड ऑफ ऑल रिसीप्ट एंड पेमेंट ऑफ मनी Similarly, bank book is to keep a record of all receipts and payments made through bank accounts of the trader. Advantages of cash book and bank book: the advantage of entering all cash transactions in a separate book need hardly be stated. It is a matter of common knowledge that all business dealings ultimately resolve themselves into cash or bank transactions, and as a result, records of cash and bank dealings in any business. must naturally be numerous now if every cash transaction were recorded in the journal an enormous amount of unnecessary work would be entailed in debiting or crediting cash accounts every time cash is received or paid it is by this device of passing cash transactions through the cash book that the work of posting every item of receipt or payment of cash individually to cash account in the ledger is avoided and the advantage thus arising from the use of cash book is far greater than that appertaining to the subdivisions of the journal into the purchases sales and return books as only cash transactions are recorded in this book in order in which they occur and as the recorder takes the shape of a ledger account the receipts being entered on the debit side and the payments on the credit side it is not necessary to have cash account in the ledger thus the cash book and bank book in reality fulfills the functions of a book of original entry as also of a ledger account cash discount cash discount may be defined as an allowance made by the receiver of cash to the payer for prompt payment in view of the fact that cash discount is always allowed or received when the payment is made it is necessary to record this fact at the same place where the cash transaction is recorded in order to enable this to be done the cash book is usually provided with two additional columns one on the each side the debit column being used for recording discount allowed on receipt of cash and the credit column for recording discount received at the time of payment different forms of cash book with a view to prevention of fraud it is always desirable to bank all the receipts forthwith and make all payments by checks in a majority of concern however a large floating balance of cash is left in office and payments are made either by checks or cash as found convenient types of cash book there are three distinct types of cash book and each business would naturally have its cash book ruled in a manner as would suit its own requirements thus the cash book may be ruled as to possesses one cash and discount columns only on either side or cash bank and discount columns on either side or bank and discount columns only on either side Now let us solve an illustration entering the following transactions in a cash book without bank columns and bank book separately. We will discuss each transaction in a separate sheet to explain how it is recorded. Transaction one, March one, balance of cash in hand rupees two thousand and in Bank of India rupees ten thousand. This transaction has to be recorded. For the first part, balance of cash in hand two thousand in the cash book on the debit side, date March one, two balance brought down rupees two thousand rupees. Balance of cash in hand rupees two thousand and in Bank of India rupees ten thousand. The second part of the transaction, balance of cash in Bank of India rupees ten thousand is to be recorded in the Bank of India account on the debit side, date March one, and the receipt says. to balance brought down amount to is 10000 second transaction march 2nd received cash from d chetty rupees 2000 rupees to record this transaction in cash book 
we have on the debits we have to record it on the debit side as we have received the cash on date March 2nd on the receipt side from DCT to DCT rupees 2000 rupees. Next transaction paid on March 4th paid yes Govind and company by check rupees 520. So for to record this transaction in Bank of India account on the as it is payment we have to record it on the credit side date March 4th by payments by S. Yes, Govindan Company, amount is 520 rupees. Next on March 5, received for cash sales, cash rupees 75 and by check rupees 100. To record this transaction for cash sales in the cash book on date March 15, sales March 5, sales by two sales rupees 75. And uh, to record other part of the transaction cash sales received by check rupees 100 has to be recorded in bank of india account on the debit side date march 5 two sales rupees 100 next transaction on march 6 paid into bank of india account the quick when we pay it into the bank our cash will go so we have to credit on the cash book on march 6 by bank rupees 620 and the same on the we have received this cash in the bank account so on the debit side of the bank of india account on march 6 to cash 620 rupees has to be recorded next transaction march 8 paid for cash purchases by check 845 check means it is a bank payment to record this in bank of india account it is a payment so we have to record it on the credit side date march 8 by purchases 8.45. Next transaction. Paid bill payable number 8 by check rupees 1200. By check means it is again a bank transaction. We have to record this in Bank of India account on the credit side as it is a payment on date March 9 for by bill payable number 8 rupees 1200. Next transaction. Paid by check to V Wali rupees 525. Again, this is a check payment. So, this is a bank transaction. So, we have to record in the Bank of India account on the credit side that this is a payment. So, March 11 by only rupees 525. Drew for office use rupees 500. So, we have drawn cash from the bank. So, first in the bank account we are forgoing the money. So, on the credit side, March 12 by cash rupees 500. So, we are receiving the cash. So, in the cash book, we have to receive it on the debit side, record it on the debit side, March 12 by bank, two bank, rupees 500. March 12, 13, paid cash for advertisement, rupees 450. This is a payment in cash. So, on the cash book, we have to record it on the credit side, March 13 by advertisement rupees 450. March 16 paid cash for electricity charges rupees 420. Again this is a cash payment. So we have to record it on the credit side with the cash book. On my other side March 16 for payments by electricity charges rupees 420. March 17 drew a check of rupees 2000 for personal use. So when it is drawn through check that means our bank balance will reduce so we have to record it in bank of india account on the credit side march 17 by drawing 2000 rupees march 19 paid february salaries to staff by check to say rupees 1500 again this is a check payment so we have to record in bank of india account on the credit side march 19 by salaries 1500 Paid by check for office safe, rupees 275. Again, this is a bank payment, so we have to record it on the credit side of the Bank of India account on March 21 by office safe, rupees 275. Received from C, Parek and company, rupees 875. When there is no mention about bank or cash, it is a cash payment, cash receipt, uh, cash payment received by us. So we have to record on the debit side of the cash book on March 23. To C Parik, rupees eight seventy five. 
March 25 paid into Bank of India 1000. That means we have cash and we our cash will reduce. We have deposited our cash into our bank account. So, we have to record it on the credit side that the cash book has it is cash payment into the bank on March 25 by bank rupees 1000. So, on the contrary, we receive this amount in our bank account. So, Bank of India March 25 to cash rupees 1000. March 26 paid cash for freight rupees 55. That means we have foregone our cash by 55 towards payment of freight. So we have to record it on the cash book credit side. March 26 by freight rupees 55. March 29 paid rent for February by check 175. It is a check payment. So we have to record it in the Bank of India account on the credit side. March 29 by rent rupees 175. March 31, received a check for rupees 460 from Samuel and Company. So, this is a bank payment. We have to record it in the bank account on the debit side as we have received a check from Samuel. March 31, Samuel and Company, rupees 460. Now, once we have recorded all the transactions, we have to balancing the, we have to balance the each account, Bank of India account by the end of the month. So, we have to total up the debit side, it comes to 2,180 and on the credit side, it comes to 7,540 and the balance carried down is 4,640. On the March 31, we have to record on the credit side as debit side is more as by balance carried down 4,650 and on the next month, first date, April 1, to balance brought down 4,640. Total debits rupees 12,180. Plus total credit rupees 7,540 and the balance carried down is 4,640. Similarly, we have to balance cash at book also. The total debits 5,450 plus total credit 2,545 and the balance carried down is rupees 2,905. This we have to record it on the credit side as the debit total debits. The figure of total debits is more. Uh, on March 31 by balance carried down 2,905 and we have to carry it down this to April 1st as to balance brought down 2,905. Dear students, this is how we record the transactions related to cash in bank in cash book and bank book respectively. Both the accounts are balanced at the end of the month and carry forward the balance amount as opening balance for the next month. To continue to record the transaction pertain to the subsequent month. This is a matter of routine as far as cash and bank transactions are concerned. In the next lecture, we will discuss about triple column cash book, that means cash book with cash, bank, and discount columns.